Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Aryan and today we're talking about proxies inside of Premiere Pro and how they can help you edit faster. So let's get started. So before I actually show you guys how to use a proxy, I'm actually going to talk about what a proxy is. So proxy is basically an alternate version of your raw file that you want to use instead of using the raw. You might be asking, why would you want to do that? The answer is actually very simple. So there are two main reasons that you want to be using proxies in your projects. Number one being the files that your camera is rendering are not very friendly in Premiere Pro. You're having trouble playing back. That's usually not because your computer is too slow. That can also be the codec that your camera is rendering in. So for example, I shoot on a Sony a7 III and a lot of the times when I'm playing it back in Premiere, no matter how fast my computer is, it'll still have trouble kind of playing it back smoothly for me. So that would be a reason why I would use a proxy. So reason number two would actually be that your files are just way too big. So for example, if you're shooting on a red camera and you're shooting 8K raw, most of the computers out there are going to have trouble playing that back. So that would be a very good reason for you to use proxies. So now let's learn how to make them. All right, guys, so to make proxies, what you need to do is highlight the clips you want to make proxies of and right click on them. Go to proxy and then create proxy. This proxy menu will pop up and for format, you want to select QuickTime, which is a very uncompressed codec and it's super easy for Premiere to play back. And for preset, you want to select ProRes Low Resolution Proxy and hit OK. Then Media Encoder will open up and automatically start rendering. This process shouldn't take too long, just depends on your computer and how many clips you're working with. I usually use proxies for all my drone clips because the files that come out of most DJI drones are very compressed, so pretty much they never play back smoothly for me. If you're working with like a huge terabyte project or something and are considering making proxies, then I recommend starting this process the night before. So by the time you load up your project the next morning, your proxies are all ready for you. When the proxies are done rendering, you need to click on the little plus icon, then find the toggle proxies button and drag it down to your quick commands. And now you just have to hit the button to toggle your proxies on and off. And the difference as you can see is massive. This tip should keep your editing workflow going a lot faster and stress-free since you now don't have to deal with choppy playback ever. Alright guys, the last thing you want to do is make sure the proxies are toggled off so when you go to render, your footage actually renders in full resolution. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope this helped you out. If it did, please do leave it a big like. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys next time.